everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the fifth episode of the second season of Shinigami Bochan to Kuro Maid. Now yeah, last episode, a lot's going on with the Kafazain side of things. We had some fun circus stuff, but we also have Dalith, you know, using Keto and Teto. I hope that's their names, you know, to try, try, try to get them and all that. So yeah, a lot, a lot's happening. So let's jump right into the episode and see, see how things go. Three, two, one, fight. You know, the show calls Alice Kudo Maid. Presumably because of the black clothes she wears. It's just an odd choice because she's a pretty, you know, happy, cheery, positive force. So it's not like wearing black itself is a weird thing. It's just, it's just that. You know, you usually associate black, the darkness, with more, like, you know, gloomy e or evil. You know, it depends on the context, right? So it makes sense that Bochan wears black. So, it might just be just, just to match his color scheme. Because, <laughs> like, Cuff wears white, doesn't she? <laughs> so, it just, I don't, I don't think I really have an overall point here, it's just... I just, I'm just curious what the logic behind it is. Because you could literally just give her, like, a, a blue outfit, you know, and... Yeah, then you have a new title for the show. <laughs> Unless she's secretly evil. I think that's my overall point. Uh, Cuff Zion of the Confession. My cat just got off my lap, so... Free freedom. <laughs> well, that's good. You, you never know with you. Ooh. I mean, nothing too crazy, but just look, look, looking good. I just, I was expecting different because I know her, but. <laughs> the complex feelings. <laughs> There's Waldo. Oh, in a narrow, dark alleyway. Okay. Like, like a really narrow alleyway. So, still, still thinking about leaving, I guess. Tucked. <laughs> I mean, Confession isn't the title. <laughs> so I guess I'll let you have dibs. <laughs> this kid. Well, we have to confess now. You never had a chance, sadly, but you'll find someone else. Someone more your height. Hopefully this scene isn't too sad. Ooh! I, is, is it that obvious? Because didn't she eavesdrop last episode? <sighs> huh. 
Oh damn. This, this confession this confession could have gone better. About to step into the lights, but we but we won't let her. Oh wow, okay. We 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 are, we are recovering. <laughs> I mean now or never, I if he's leaving. But okay. We're doing this. Damn it, cuff. Just look at those legs. <clears throat> Is that Daleth or am I crazy? I think that's her. Yeah, I think I need a better look, but. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, cuff has a lot on her mind. <laughs> <laughs> good, 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 good. <laughs> good. Uh, he, he, yeah, yeah. Oh, the girl with the blue hair is, is something. She looked like she uses ice magic. <laughs> I bring the fire. I bring the ice and the balls. I miss all right. <laughs> Sad. Is it writing the kanji for person three times in the hand and swallowing it? I mean, it's not a, it's not exactly the same thing, but I think it's what it's based off of. <laughs> you know, among other things. <laughs> but Zion can't perform like this or cough that. If it threw me off because he popped up out of nowhere. <laughs> Are you, are you sure? I don't, I don't think she's making it obvious enough. I was like, but this that looks like witch magic. Uh, I'm not sure that's part of the show. Uh, yep, that's Keto Teto. One, one of the two. Okay, Keto. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He'd be a nice little snack. That's the idea. Just murder every circus person. You know, no more circus. Evil, evil witches. <laughs> I think the crowd's kind of into it. Are we going to break out the time magic? It's pretty serious. Oh, or we could just, yeah, he could do his thing. I, I can't believe I didn't think about that. It's nice and subtle, you know, he just touches it. <laughs> See, he does have a good act. You know? <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> I dare you to bite me. Uh, that's probably the most badass thing he's ever done. <laughs> I mean, the dinner table scene was close, but... <laughs> they call someone else weird. <laughs> yeah, all's well that ends well. <laughs> No one died. Crowd had fun. It's all good. <laughs> I 
<laughs> she is so cute. But now I'm so invested in it. Oh. Uh. At the halfway point, I guess. <laughs> but uh, seriously. Where is this going? You know, with with Alice's legs in the shot, I didn't I didn't see anything either. I mean, it wasn't really a Ponsu shot because it's a bikini, but it kind of looked like one. Oof. Yeah, I can just keep killing it. She'll just keep growing it. <laughs> Strong man coming in handy. <laughs> Probably. Oof. We got him down. Now it's now it's a uh, cop's turn. You are just bad lady. You don't, you don't have to. <sighs> Good thing she's a circus performer. She should be able to hold her own on this. Alice keeps being in shots, but she doesn't really do much in this overall scene. It's one finger. Yeah, she's trying to bait him real hard, but... <sighs> now, I was about to say, that's a smile worth protecting right there. <sighs> ah! Uh, I mean, it wasn't that far of a fall, but that angle didn't look too good, so... Just like that, we got the... we got the catcher. He found something more important than his hate for magic. <laughs> I use my magic to save your life. Let me have this. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, tie up that girl. Both girls. Yeah, there's a reason why she's, you know, trying to blend in with the crowd. Uh, kiss? I think so. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I, I, it's a nice moment, but that... <laughs> it, just, it looks too silly not to laugh. <laughs> but that was, that was something. <laughs> I yeah, use more tongue this time. 
<laughs> They're pretty confused. After he got banged up a bit. <laughs> well, did everyone have fun? <laughs> the ball skirt is just so weird, though. <laughs> I see she transferring back. Oh, I would love to. Don't don't tempt me. <laughs> Did you see those girls, man? You, you can't say no to, no to an offer like that. We still need to kill you. Just bringing that up. I mean, that's a big thing to just expect someone to believe. Like, if I was her, realistically, I would just get pissed off at her for making such a terrible joke. <laughs> nice. Thank you for that cuff. I, that's so satisfying, actually. Please do it again. <laughs> I, I'm going to replay that after I'm done with this reaction. Just bam. Because boy, does she have that coming. So he's pop he's popping the question. I've been a little bit hard to hide it now. What is this witch of which you speak? I a normal red haired girl, and he is normal mask wearing boy. <laughs> well you didn't ask to be fair. Well, yeah, he never seemed like somebody that would have a, you know, a problem with witches. <laughs> We're all about problems here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why does she have the cutest reactions to, like, everything? <laughs> She's going to town on that thing. Oh yeah, that was a thing, wasn't it? Kind of forgot about that. And I guess, yeah, he definitely wouldn't have a problem with it. <laughs> <coughs> We're getting married. <laughs> Come by. Come by. There we go. Yeah, they're now officially a couple. 
Childhood friend status elevated. <laughs> now I see my doujinshi of her just going at it with him. Witch on bird action, you know. <laughs> I'm still thinking about the freaking bird beak kiss. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> We're guys, man. Don't don't, don't be gay. <laughs> I want to pop her balls like one by one as she's forced to watch. Is that so much to ask? Just the two of us now. Okay, now it's just the two of us. <laughs> yeah, you better not. He's got, like, some of the best wife material in this show. <laughs> like, if Alice wasn't in the show, and even then, it's, it's close at this point. <laughs> It's a close one. Like, I didn't think anyone would challenge Alice for waifu of the show, but this episode especially, Cuff is, uh, Cuff's giving Alice a run for her money. Like, she, she's, she's no slouch. My cat always wants in and out, in and out. <laughs> Hopefully we do get the octopus again at some point. I kind of liked her. Also, I'm more Keto and Teto. They're bad guys, but... Uh, but I, I just, they're, they're, the, they're bad guys I need more of in the show. I mean, let's be honest, when it comes to villains, it's, it doesn't get any better than, like, just beautiful, slutty, gyaru characters. Like, if I'm gonna fight a bad guy, that, that's what I would choose. If I was an anime character. I can't speak for everyone, I'm just saying that's, that's how I would roll. Everyone's daily life. I guess that's kind of implying we're gonna maybe have a bit more of a slice of life episode next time. Which makes sense. This one was pretty pretty action oriented, pretty plot moving forwardy, if that you know, that is a technical term for it. But uh, yeah, this was this was quite the episode, man. We uh, obviously last episode was setting up the the Zion stuff, you know, potentially leaving, potentially just, well confessing. I mean, the, the episode title at the very least uh, led, led led to that potential, but. Yeah, Zion just invites Cuff over to the dark alleyway. He does have to confess to her, and she just, uh, you know, kind of runs off after that. <laughs> Luckily, we eventually find her, but the, the great thing we just see in her overall disposition after the confession, you know, a little bit of loopy and blushing and embarrassed and not sure what to do, like, it was, it was good stuff. It was good stuff to see. You know, everyone could tell us something went down, not quite sure what it was, but... Fortunately, yeah, Teto and Keto did kind of crash the party, got the giant plants going. <laughs> Luckily, Bochan can just kill, you know, with, with a touch, so he helped a lot, but in the end, the design was pushed to use his time magic, which he didn't want to do, but what was made very clear here is that his love for Cuff is more powerful than his hatred of his time magic, so, you know, pretty good way to demonstrate that, even though he was very much pushed into it by the, the bad guys. 
but it was pretty cool though. You stop time, bush over, catcher, and we also had our beak kiss, which I do want to watch again. I think it was right about here. Because at first it just got the zoom into like the eye area, so you couldn't actually see it, but it was heavily implying what was happening there. So I was just kind of waiting for it to pull for the for the camera to pull out so I could see it, and and then it did, and we just see her just like yeah, kissing the beak. I don't know what I was expecting, really, like because uh, I I mean that is that is essentially his mouth, right? I, I think I, I guess that's how it works. <laughs> it just looks so funny, like. I, I, did anyone watch this show and not laugh when I saw that? I, I would be a little bit impressed, but when I see the big old beak like that, I just imagine so many things. Just like, like imagine she tried to like have an open mouth kiss with him and the beak just like goes in down the throat, you know, just a lot of little things just popped in my mind as I was kind of, kind of watching that or potentially just stab an eye out because she misses her aim. Just so many things came to mind as I'm watching that, but it was still cute. It was still wholesome, good stuff. And the way they played it off as like an illusion at the end there, showcasing the, the various injuries that Cuff gave to Zion. So it was, all, it was all so good. But we in the end, we won. We captured the bad guys. You know, a little Keto and Teto. Uh, Dal Dalith probably got away. But I mean, we did punch her, so I call that a win overall, for sure. But some cats are out of the bag. You know, they know. Circus people now know that, you know, but that their their identities like witches and all that, they know that he's married to the octopus witch. So like a lot of stuff is out in the open now, which is good. And they're not just Nakama, they're their family, Kazoku. So that was nice too. It's mostly especially uh Cop's reaction to that. That was that was some good stuff right there. But and we ended off with, with some hand holding. <laughs> Couldn't really ask for a better way to end it off, I suppose. But yeah, really good episode. Felt like a lot of things just progressed there and a lot of exciting stuff to watch, but we'll see how things go. But uh, next episode could potentially be a bit more of a chill episode. We'll have to wait and find out. So yeah, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.